everyone, welcome back to my channel. So we are at Phoenix Cycle Works today and I haven't been here in such a long time to film a video and we came a couple of times last week which I didn't film because I wanted to try and ride a little bit for myself and gain a bit more confidence and I certainly have done that. These guys have got so many new features. We've got an airbag, we've got some mulch jumps which have been adapted and are actually super scary and in this video I'm going to show you all of those things, hopefully ride the airbag and send the big kicker jump. So we're going to have a little warm up to start with and do some of the trails which are behind me. Right, we have made it to the rolling now and it's actually a little bit of a headwind going this way. So hopefully we can clear some of the jumps, but it's gonna get me get my eye back in basically. Get and you, get you used to the feeling of it. Yeah. And this is very jump orientated this place compared to downhill. Yeah. Which is actually good because it's what you need to practice, especially if you're gonna do the wooden kickers today. Yeah. Which ones? Mulch. Oh, I thought you meant the big line. No. <laughs> anyway, right, Tom's gonna to follow me, so we'll switch and you'll have to go for them right now. Okay. Get it, KJ. Following you. Here we go then. I've chosen to use my jump bike today. I was on a light. But that is the perfect tool. Yo, it's quite headwindy, isn't it? Sick. Good. I, I cased a couple of the top ones. Oh my god, my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> are, you quite, are you that emotional about yeah. it? I cased a couple of the top ones, but that bottom one, it's almost like as you come off that bridge, it's like yeah. no wind. Yeah. But that's sick. Last time we were here, Tom got a clip of me doing that bottom section with the iPhone in sport mode. There's this cool new feature actually on the iPhones where it's almost as stable as a GoPro. And it was so hilarious to see Tom just going along next to me, rolling on his bike because it's actually so fast. And down the side where it's so bumpy, it was just, yeah, it was funny to watch. So he's gonna do the same for me today, but filming on my phone this way. And he's also gonna wear the GoPro so he can get his reaction. Cause yeah, I have a feeling it's gonna be quite funny. Right, she's coming now, so I'm going to start rolling, albeit very slowly. Here we go. So it gets dangerous for me. Whew. Yeah! Nice! Here we go. So it gets dangerous for me. Nice. I'm now trying to stop one-handed. <laughs> Did that work? Yeah, I think so. That's it. That was actually such a funny clip of Tom just going down full speed on a dirt jumper, which is so stiff, no suspension, trying to keep up with me because I'm so fast these days. But we've come over to the airbag now. It's not blown up yet. We're going to blow it up in a second. But this is actually super scary. Although it's safe because it's an airbag, you've still got to get it out of your head that you need to go really fast at a wooden kicker and if you've watched my previous videos you'll know that I've had such a mental block with just hitting wooden kickers recently but this is the perfect one to just get that horrible thought out of your head because it is so safe this kicker here is seven foot tall and the good thing about this one is that it's so gentle so it doesn't actually fire you that high so we're gonna blow this up give it a go and Oh, I thought you were going to do something. I thought you were going to make me jump. But yeah, we're going to blow, blow it up. Well, Bentley's going to blow it up. We've only got one, so once it starts, you've got to start on the suckers on the side. Just keep blowing. One each side, it'll go up. <laughs> Seriously, it needs... You huff and you puff and you blow no, the yeah. bag up. My I told the kids up. that and they stuck. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh my God. They know how to do it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, got it, yeah. Cheers, Bentley. My lungs aren't big enough to do that. Kind of. But anyway, yeah, let's plug it in, blow it up, and give it a send. Right. This is actually the hardest bit. <laughs> Pushing my bike up the rolling. I'll be hitting them in a bit. But for now, this is my view. Oh my God, why is my heart going again? Ah. 
Okay, it's not even that scary. I don't know why I'm actually so terrified. Feels like the first time hitting a jump again. Well that was pretty terrifying for like no reason whatsoever but it's actually such a sick little bag it's just getting over the fact that you need to go down like a steep rolling and then go up a steep kicker but let's give it another hit. What a nice big boost that was. What really? Yeah. Right, we've had enough warm-up jumps now. It's time to try and do a one-hander, I think. I got, I got a bit fluffed up because it was windy. It is windy? Yeah. Maybe hard for one-handers. It's maybe hard for tricks. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> you know I hate that. Hey, after your vlog, it was a sketchy landing actually. Yeah, I know you rode off the edge. <laughs> it's a bit windy today. Yeah. Should we go to the mulch then? Sure turn on the mulch, yeah. Can I just do a double truck? I've been okay. trying to do it and it's windy. Alright, go on then. Okay, here we are then. We have got this huge mulch kicker behind me, which I believe is nine foot tall. So it's a two foot taller than the uh, airbag kicker. And it looks so daunting when you look at it. But actually, when we were here last time, I rode it for the very first time. I'll insert the clip right now and you guys can see. But Bentley, huge shout out to Bentley. He's a coach and he builds a lot of the features here at Phoenix Cycle Works. He really helped me get over it and I'm so glad he did because I was stoked with it because it's actually such an easy jump and I say easy but I'll probably be just as scared when I go up there in a minute. So I think what we should do, oh I'm scared now, I've said all of that and making it sound so easy but I'm actually just as terrified as when I was hitting it for the first time but we're gonna get up there, give it a go. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, that's good. The first one's out of the way. Oh. Yo! Nice! Oh my goodness. Never gets any easier, I have to say. I did a little safety break there just because I wanted to get used to riding the lip and this is actually so good because it's got the platform in the middle so you can actually do that. It doesn't matter if you land on the top or case it, but oh, that was terrifying. We're gonna go again, not do the safety break and hopefully we'll clear it. Okay, oh my goodness, why is this so scary? Yo! Yes! Ah. Yo, big clear! That was so sick! I'll tell you what, this can't do many favours for your heart. <laughs> yeah, I can't... And I don't know, it's so easy, but I just get so nervous. Yeah. She did really well hitting that. She's actually riding it so much better than what her brain is telling her. And what I mean by that is her confidence is way lower than what her ability is, which is probably a common issue in MTB. But she just needs to like get her brain up to speed with what her body's capable of doing. And then I think we'll see her riding come on quite quickly again, but it's believing in yourself. And that's not always easy to do. Oh, that was sick. That's so sick. I'm actually slowly getting more and more confident to hit that at like full speed now, which is crazy. <laughs> um, we just filmed a little Instagram reel as well, so I'll add that in so you guys can see. Oh. 
But what an epic day we've had here at Phoenix Cycle Works and we're so lucky with the weather as well. Tom's just gone up to the top with his jump bike so I think he's going to do a few little tricks for us so I will film them. Whee! Here he comes. Oh my gosh, wow, lovely. What a session we've had here today. I'm so happy that I managed to hit the kicker ramp, do the airbag, because these things for me at the moment just seem so, so scary for some reason. And I think I just need a little bit more self-belief and yeah, just not feel so overwhelmed by everything all the time. But I'm slowly getting there and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, put your comments down below and I shall see you guys very soon. Bye. Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way